Hello and welcome back to another Blu-ray pickup video. This time I've kind of grouped together all the recent box sets that I have picked up from Arrow themselves. Some Academy ones, a lot of video ones in there as well. And I'm just going to jump through what I've picked up. A lot of blind buys here, a lot of things that I know very little about. So this is going to probably be a quick kind of video. But I would love your thoughts on these titles. Have I, have I chose wisely? Let's have a look and see. First up, and one I kind of was in two minds about, um, but I, I got a 20% off voucher uh, on eBay, got it in an eBay shop, so I went for it, and it's Crystal of My Car. Couple of things about this that jumps out to me straight away, that is it's the, from the director of Hard To Be A God, a movie that I watched a while ago, and I just, I've never forgotten about it. It's a strange one, but a really interesting one so I was curious to see more from that director uh, for what I read about this it was released in 1998 um, Martin Scorsese was a huge fan of this type of thing so that kind of pushed me towards getting it getting that 20% off really did help as well it's one of the fancy Arrow limited sets this one was selling fairly quickly last time I checked so I, I nabbed it while I had the chance knowing it's a satirical comedy uh, about the, the sort of turning of a, of a time span in Russia where Stalin dies and, and where it's going to go after that type of thing. And I believe this kind of movie had an influential effect on uh, the Thick of It series, which, uh, if that's any instigation of this, is something I'm really looking forward to. Next up uh, is one that has a tale to go with it about me picking it up. Now, um, I picked this up not long uh, after I was off ill for a period of time and it was one that I was really curious about. I know it's a low budget kind of horror movies. Uh, Jose Laraz, I don't know something anything about the guy. Whirlpool, The Coming of Sin and Vampires is in this. I've heard they're fairly good. I've heard the transfers are amazing. And I was unsure about this one, but I decided, you know, I was, I was off unwell. I wanted to treat myself, feel better. I went to HMV, picked up this new box set, £45. A bit pricey, but you know what? I'm probably going to like it. I decided to go for it. Cut to almost three weeks later, and HMV uh, brought out this buy one, get one free Arrow video sale. And this was in the sale. I, I, you can probably tell what's coming here. I took this back to the shop with the receipt, returned it and bought it back again and got another box set, which uh, is incredibly cheeky of me to do something like that I, and kind of skin flinty, but you know, Pennies are prisoners, so it's, it's, it's important to make the most of them. Um, and yeah, so I, I returned this and got another set with it at the same time. I'm quite happy to have this anyway. This is another set that's moving pretty quickly. I believe there may be a second set coming at some point. Uh, I've checked out the trailers and all these movies. They all look fairly interesting. I think I'm most interested in probably vampires, which I might leave to last. But yeah. I don't know a thing about this guy. If you do, let me know a little bit about him and his movies and, and what I should look out for. Now, I was talking about the buy one, get one free sale that was in uh, HMV. It's moved on to like Xavi and uh, the Arrow Films website itself. And the Arrow Films website is always one to keep an eye on because every now and again, they'll throw something up there that's out of print. They've probably found a box of it in, in their stockroom or something. Um, but they'll just put it up there uh, out of nowhere and one of those sets was one that I picked up. Now this is something that I I dithered about when it came out and quickly it sold out and went out of print and was going for over a hundred pounds every time I seen it on eBay and things like that price I'm just not willing to pay. But for £45 on the Amazon uh, on the Arrow Films website and getting another set with it felt like a good price for me and that is the Taisho trilogy love this uh, I love Seijin Suzuki I've got a few of his sets I've released two volumes of his sets and a bunch of other movies as well it's a director that I really do like um, this is all kind of supernatural tales set between 1912 and 1926 seems a little bit different and like I said this wasn't released separately it was going for a Ridiculous amounts of money, um, the kind of thing that you got to wonder who pays it, but I have a set, it's going in the collection, I'll be opening it soon and checking it out. One that I was eager to get 
knowing nothing about it but really super eager to get I've been waiting about two years for this set to come out is the American Horror Project Volume 2 now these are usually indie low budget hard to really find much information about movies that I'd never heard of before this one has Dark August Dream No Evil and The Child I know nothing about them I don't want to know a single thing about them either the first set was just a knockout this one I'm imagining is more of the same uh, this is the kind of thing that I love when Arrow does you know releases these horror movies that just don't seem to have the kind of fanfare that they may deserve or something that's kind of eked into the shadows never to be seen again Arrow are highlighting it in these box sets and I love it comes with a book as well these ones um, no doubt you get individual releases of these movies if you're just interested in one or two of them they did it for the first one but the set is, is a no-brainer for me especially in this offer it's on just now and last definitely not least one that I really really kind of had to think long and hard about whether I wanted it or not thanks to the this offer that I keep talking about I, I finally went for it um, and that is Crimson Peak now I like Crimson Peak I didn't love it I felt it was a fairly good uh, gothic horror romance uh, good performances interesting story one that I, I want to revisit um, it's not really about the ghosts it's more about the characters uh, even though they, they are front and centre and I just felt that this that this is a recent release you know it's the kind of thing that Arrow haven't really tackled before um, something that, uh, that's already been out in a Blu-ray a couple of years ago but they've gave all the bells and whistles that they do they've gave it this amazing box set that it comes with it's got a, a book in it as well it's an 80 page book it has poster, art cards, a wealth of new material this was one of the, these releases that was instigated by Del Toro he felt that the movie needed a better release and actually chased the studio to partner up with Arrow to release it. When I heard that, it made me really curious about what was going to be on this disc. It's a RAM disc. Um, the, the packaging and the artwork is a bit different from what we've seen from Arrow before, but I do like it. And it was all specifically designed by uh, the artist who worked on the film design, all the, the, the uh, poster arts and things like that for that. So it's nice to tie that into the movie. And it's something a little bit different. And uh, like I said, £25 I was a bit unsure about twelve fifty. it was a no brainer so I picked that up that is it lots of box sets lots of things to keep me going I'd love to know your opinion on uh, these releases is there anything there that you like anything that you wouldn't have got anything that I should look out for first um, if it's any of the filmmakers I've picked up that I don't know too much about highlight a movie of theirs that I should really search out as well thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on Man vs Film